Hello everyone, I am Monica from IELTS 9. 50-60% of your IELTS writing task 2 essay problem, I have solved it. Please follow this template and then definitely you will get good bands. But, but one more thing is important here, while using templates, please take care of each and every word should be in this sequence as well as it using only template will not give you bands you have to use a question statement you have to give reason just think simple things about the question statement definitely you will get bands okay just follow the template of how i have written and i will explain you one example of agree or disagree essay how you can fit this ready-made language into this essay okay side by side take screenshot of this uh, this scene like from here to here this is your introduction i will explain it to you don't worry first you take screenshot and then make it uh, as in uh, just write it as a note in your uh, register or copy okay so this is introduction and then second body paragraph uh, this from to initiate to uh, this this point second point okay i will explain it just a minute Okay, first you take screenshot, pause the screen and just, uh, just write down in your copy. When you will write, definitely you will learn it something. Now second body paragraph, okay. Uh, from here to here, second body paragraph. This is my, from explaining to this reason what I have written. So I will explain it to you just a minute. And then now write it, now conclusion. Okay, so in conclusion, from here to here, this is your conclusion part. I will explain it to you. Just take screenshot of it first. Now see this, this question we will discuss, although it seems very simple question, but uh, don't think that every that uh, IELTS writing task too is easy every time. Sometimes difficult questions may come, like difficult, I mean to say difficult topics it can come, like moon space walk topic was there, cryptocurrency topic was also there in IELTS writing task too. This is somewhat simple, but with the help of simple essay, I will uh, make you understand about how to use templates for agree or disagree essay or to what extent do you agree or disagree essay, okay? So in many ways you can attempt these this essay or this essay. You can go 100% agree, you can go 100% disagree, you can go partially agree, you can just write I agree up to a certain extent. So three, four, four, four ways you can just attempt it. I will show you every kind of thing. So here we will discuss fully agree essay we will discuss in this in this series first video is this about this now with the help of template let uh, let's understand the template first so template how you will be understanding first introduction let's read introduction so it is true that in this day and age here you can write globalization also modern times also and then after this uh, comma you can put and then question statement why i have written question statement here you can do paraphrasing of question statement and then full stop is there okay so full stop i strongly now next sentence i strongly agree because we are writing fully agree if you want to write fully disagree then you can put here fully disagree with this viewpoint as now you have to give reason why you agree with that because it seems uh, incomplete when you are not giving any reason why you agree with the statement it is good to write reason if you don't want to write reason here then leave it with this viewpoint only till here now in this essay i will outline why i believe that now main topic is important to write here i will just tell you explain you how to find main topic from the question statement let's understand this template is highly beneficial for whom so this only black language is uh, template language not the purple purple the purple or pink whatever i have written so for your understanding that here you need to give reason here you need to write question statement in uh, in uh, using synonyms and all here you need to write main topic so in template in actual essay don't write this main temp main topic word here question statement main topic word will come okay so here beneficial for whom means 
कंट्री और पब्लिक यू कैन जस्ट राइट बोथ और वन सो दैट मेन टॉपिक इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर होम यू कैन जस्ट राइट होम वर्ड विल नॉट कम इन टेम्पलेट नाउ इन बॉडी पैराग्राफ वन सी दिस to initiate with the first most significant argument now first point you will announce and then its explanation by saying this is to say point explanation and then for instance means you will ex explain the example and then its result which result first point result what will happen after that and then furthermore a second point means firmly believe that okay second point explanation you will start um uh, announcement of point and then its explanation and then your illustration if you want to write only one illustration here then it's okay uh, one instance one example is here and then supporting my opinion with this illustration therefore means result of the second point again you can write this first two points in first ex, uh, first paragraph and one more thing you can do if you want to concentrate on one point then combine these two points that you can do it now second body paragraph here different things i have adopted explaining some of another significant so significant word we are using it another second time so you can just cut it you can write here another paramount or important point in favor of this statement it can be noted that third point you will be explaining you will be announcing the third point statement and then to substantiate means you are go going to give explanation in bracket i have written explanation explanation word you ha don't have to write in your essay so for your understanding i have written that after this you have to just write explanation about the third point to cite an example means you will give example as a consequence means what is the result of this point so and then however why i have i am in including this another topic means opposite topic however means we uh, uh, opposite topic will come only one sentence should not overlook the importance of opposite topic as now we, you have to give reason also it means you are touching each and every part of the question statement with that okay now conclusion in conclusion now topic again means question statement again in different words or you can say change some synonyms okay while some may argue that now topic will come can be detrimental i firmly believe i firmly believe that aforementioned mentioned points are strongly supporting my views hence the advantages of main topic will come here outweigh its disadvantages simple sentence structure i have used follow the sentence structure and follow and try to think something relating to the main topic then you will get marks okay now uh, we will do one question statement with the help of this template okay so here i can see this question statement you can also see this so agree or disagree so we will be going agree for this statement government should spend money on railways rather than roads to what extent do you agree or disagree okay so we are going to write fully agree essay hmm. now after getting the statement after getting the question writing task two we have to plan plan means we first we will read the question statement three four times we will try to understand the statement we will analyze the statement and come out with the main topic so what is the main topic here topic here government funding uh, or spending on railways on railways or roads you have to decide because already they are saying government should spend more money on railways so we have to agree we have to give our uh, agreement statement ag agree point or disagree means railways according to you railways you agree with the railways and if you disagree it means you are going for roads importance of roads so i will go fully agree with the railway so why so now i have to think the points now in body 1 to what points you are going to explain it now yes whatever the points it uh, comes to your mind immediately after now you have decided that you will agree with the statement with railways okay so immediately the points whatever is coming to your uh, whatever they are coming to your mind please write it down so like 
cost efficiently and safer uh, it is safer for transport and running cost is also less so so many things i have written it now we have to organize and another point is coming to my mind it saves our environment means less pollution or pollution free is there so there is no pollu um, uh, carbon emissions coming out from railways that is more important good thing so uh, and another important is more capacity to carry goods and passengers we can write speed is also also high and it takes time so i will just explain about indian railways you can explain about japanese railways chinese railways any kind of railways uh, high speed railways you can just write it in your example so these points it had come into my mind while i was planning my essay now think about the main reason why you agree with the statement because in introduction we have to give reason also it saves pollution also it is also the main reason and it has more capacity to carry um, goods and passengers as compared to road transport this uh, is the main reason i think i will just write it this in this main now let's discuss okay rules let me tell you some rules about this essay 250 minimum words we have to write minimum okay and maximum there is no limit but uh, try to limit your essay within 300 or 330 or 40 or 350 something words and four paragraphs are compulsory you can make five first paragraphs also and 40 minutes as you know you will get and first five minutes what you will be doing planning the essay and last five minutes you will be doing rereading your essay rereading means proofread your essay while rereading your essay you will get your own mistakes fine so these are the rules and i have told you how to plan the essay main topic we have found it from here now let's write introduction now this is the main thing i am going to tell you about template how to fit into the uh, this template into the essay so let's write it so we know the main topic is government funding on railways okay so it is true that it is true that in this day and age the nations now statement is i will show you this the nation's government ought instead of should i have written ought to make budgets on railways rather than roads infrastructure i will show you the statement also see this the nation's government government instead of government should uh, ought ought to model verb you can convert it into ought to make budgets on railways rather than uh, roads infrastructure okay now i am i am uh, strongly agree with the, I, i strongly agree with this view point as it has high capacity to carry large number of passengers and goods you can write in this essay i will outline why i believe that now main topic will come rail transport is highly beneficial for the whole world and common pub, pe public or people you can say okay so this is introduction see this it is true that now we have put this statement and then i strongly believe i strongly agree with this view point reason so reason is this see this reason i have written it as it has high to carry and then i will outline why i believe the main topic was railways so why railways uh, railway transport is highly beneficial for the whole world whole the whole, for the whole world economy also you can write and the common uh, public in the uh, and the common public or common people you can write it okay now second body paragraph to initiate with the most significant argument see this to initiate with the most significant argument now first point railways offer a safe travel experience both for public and business safety we are talking this is to say the number of accidents are too less as compared with roads because it is operated with proper systems and technicians for instance in a survey revealed by newspaper survey uh, agency thousands of people uh, people killed in road, road accident and few hundreds lost uh, few hundreds lost their life i have forgotten to lost their uh, lives in rail accidents throughout the globe okay hence it saves lives so means first para uh, first point how we have so this is my first to initiate with and first point how uh, it uh, it offer a safe travel experience both for public and businesses and this is to say explanation and this is example 
and you can see this example also for instance and hence means result of first point and it saves life now second point so first point what we have written more capacity and safer safety we safety we have written about safety now what second point we will be explaining about uh, uh, by spending infra okay so means cost efficiently we are going to talk furthermore it is cost uh, efficiently uh, transportation mode efficient transport mode i firmly believe that it saves government's money by spending only initial infrastructure and after that no cost is required for repairing its line after every six months unlike roads supporting my opinion with this illustration road needs repairing cost after every season especially after rains as per government survey of india but railways need only huge investment uh, initially so this is the example now second body paragraph now second body paragraph template explaining some of another significant point in favor of the statement a uh, significant uh, we have written second name that's why we should cut it it can be noted that see this it can be noted that it saves our environment due to the fact that it does not use any fossil fuel in modern times okay so this is the announcement of point and then to substantiate uh, substantiate means uh, explanation electrified metro trains run on electricity which means no air pollution in the surroundings to cite an example japan china and india are leading in operating bullet trains and saving their pollution levels in their countries okay so this is next point now next point moreover railways not only now i have combined two points i will show you now i have combined these two point more capacity to carry goods and speed high means high speed so here see this moreover railways not only can carry huge number of commuters and goods in one round but also saving times it saves but also saves times i think should come by providing high speed trains as a consequence people can reach their destinations on time finally final point finally this infrastructure investment will definitely boost any country's economy india's economy development can be seen if, uh, from railways expansion is a worth explaining exp example now i have not uh, written this uh, opposite side but here you can always write about roads however government should not overlook uh, the importance of roads as it connects it connects uh, railways railway stations to the uh, common to the co uh, common places in the city and wherever uh, rails can not reach like high uh, uh, high altitude and all um, uh, uh, so roads are more useful in those areas so this sentence you should write it i have not uh, uh, although i have not written but you should write it now in conclusion let's see the conclusion also in conclusion it is suggested that again question statement will come it is suggested that government agencies should invest more uh, on business paramount uh, on basic paramount infrastructure like railways paramount means important like railways instead of roads as it has proved more efficient than other structures means in as say we have proved um, that it is more efficient than other structures while some may argue that spending big amount on rails can be detrimental so this is uh, like this is the main topic okay and the pink one is ready made language can be detrimental i personally believe that aforementioned points are strongly supporting my view points hence the uh, advantages of railways investment outweigh its disadvantages see this it's so simple to write uh, essay with the help of this template